Hello and welcome to another selection of the hottest Q&As Reddit has to offer. You wake up tomorrow and the simulation resets to December 12, 2012, but you, and only you, have all of the knowledge and information that you've acquired since. What's the first thing you do? Buy loads of shares in Tesla, Amazon, Apple and Bitcoin. Pretty sure AMD was a steal in 2012. AMD was a steal, for past reference, Apple is X4 now compared to end of 2012. Amazon is X10. AMD is X20. Tesla is X27. Bitcoin is X670, though if you want to convert that into a non-cryptocurrency you lose a certain percent, not sure how much. Tell the Simpsons producers the events of the last slash next 8 years. I think it's already been done. Wait, was it you? Shh. FBI open up. Fix all the crap I effed up, then get rich off the stock market and Bitcoin before hiding in the woods with my fortune somewhere around Christmas 2019. You're just gonna do Harambe dirty like that? Kid, I don't have much time, I have information that will lead to preventing you from killing this gorilla, Harambe, whose death would spark a massive chain of events through the year 2020. Start a duck in YouTube career and invest in Bitcoin. How you gonna invent YouTube in 12 AD? My bad I thought it was like 12th of December 2012 lol. It is. He's just joking. Get ready for senior year of high school with 8 years of industry experience in 3 white collar professions. Hey it's the entry level job candidate every company is looking for. Oh boy, pays in experience here I come. I'm not going to say a word to anyone. Not that I wouldn't want to. But some of the stuff that's happened in the last especially 3 to 5 years or so are so far-fetched and so bizarre that no one would believe me. They'd think I was absolutely off my rocker and I might be sent far, far away. No one could have ever, even in their wildest imagination, have ever thought of what's going on back then, and anyone who tried to say something like that would be a kook. No one who answered the so where do you picture yourself in 5 years? Job interview question in 2015 got it right. No one. Try to stop Sandy Hook. Damn this was two days before it happened. Sandy Hook honestly feels so long ago. Like I was on vacation when that happened and I remember seeing my mom crying. Yeah I just started middle school, 6th grade, when it happened. I can vividly recall the amount coverage it got. Scary stuff. Use foreknowledge to become fabulously wealthy then buy Facebook and delete it. Facebook was already a billion dollar company. I doubt even with all the money you could get with foreknowledge you'd make enough to buy it from the old Zook. Use money to buy Tumblr then sell it to Yahoo for even more money and then buy Facebook off of Zuck. Brilliant. What could go wrong? I would go home and come my dad out for his birthday. I would talk to him as much as possible in this time. My dad died from Alzheimer's in 2016 but in 2012 he was still mostly there. Everyone's you talking about getting rich and this man speaking the real poop. Call in a fake bomb thread to Sandy Hook Elementary on December 14th. Also, change my major to photography instead of just dropping out after taking a semester off you'd be better off calling the police and telling them a gunman will show up on the 14th. True. Say you heard Adam Lanza was plotting to shoot up Sandy Hook on the morning of December 14th, 2012. This is good for Bitcoin. What if this is why Bitcoin's price spiked so much? A bunch of people with time traveling memories know that it goes big at that date. Oh, one of those paradoxes. Time travelers go back in time to buy Bitcoin which makes it valuable so years later they go back in time to buy the Bitcoin that makes it valuable so years later they go back in time. Nothing for the first week and a half or so, then put all my then girlfriend's poop it by the curb and dump her cheating butt on Christmas day. Even better get photos of it and leave them in a manila envelope on her crap. I would recreate that entire Billie Eilish album and claim it as my own. The song lyrics will make no sense because it's a 30 year old dude singing them and the world will plunge into anarchy out of sheer confusion. So you just pull a Randy Marsh. I can respect that. Yeah yeah I am lord. Die, 12 AD isn't time traveler friendly. More like accidentally kill everyone with the modern diseases you carry. Roman Empire vs Coronavirus. I remember the numbers for the few weeks of the billion dollar powerball from 2015 to 2016. I wait out 3 years, then choose the winning numbers for the week prior to the actual win. My state has an anonymous winnings rule where my identity would not be disclosed. I take care of my family then cut off contact with them and live out a happy life. Win the billion dollar powerball. 
take lump sum, probably 700 million after tax. Buy 1.4 million Bitcoin at $500 slash Bitcoin with your winnings. Sell Bitcoin at $20,000 in 2018 for 40x earnings, netting you 28 billion. Invest in put options in January 2020 and near every stock listed on the NASDAQ for expiry in April. Realistically, you'd probably only be able to invest 1 billion, but the option earnings alone would net you 40-50x returns for that bear market, giving you another 50 billion. Go back to sleep. I thought the same thing. I feel bad, all these other people thinking nice things saving lives, preventing disasters, and all I've got is. Hmm, a nap sounds good. Since it's 1912, write a paper on social distancing, hygiene, and PPE to get it published in notable medical journals before the influenza outbreak really kicks in. Go to Linz, Austria and encourage a young lad before he moves to Germany to work on his art more. 1912 is early enough to prevent World War I. No World War I, no Versailles Treaty, no resentment, no League of Nations bullcrap, no World War II, no communism, hundreds of millions of lives are saved. It was slightly before my first schizophrenic experience, so try and live a peaceful life, get enough sleep, stop smoking pot, and continue my guitar lessons in an effort to avoid the schizophrenic experience. Wouldn't it make sense to, like, go see a doctor or something in order to avoid the schizophrenic experience? I'll admit I don't know much about how schizophrenia works, but it seems like getting out ahead of it and maybe getting on some meds to prevent or lessen it would help, what would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.